Welcome back, my dear students. This is Mahu Sudhanaki, Senior Lecturer of My Student College, Department of Biology. Today, I will discuss Chapter 12. The name of this chapter is Headed in Organisms and Evolution. My today's learning objectives are structure of DNA and the differences in between DNA and RNA. Now, the structure of DNA. The main components of chromosome is DNA. Actually, DNA comprises of nucleotides. So, we can call that we can say that DNA is the uh, combination of uh, nucleotides or DNA is polynucleotide. Now, my dear students, first of all, I would like to explain what is the uh, nucleotide. What is the structure or what is called the nucleotide? You can see that in the diagram there is a sugar molecule the which is indicated by s a it a t c g this indicates nitrogen bases and p indicates inorganic phosphate the combination of sugar nitrogen base and phosphate it is collectively called the nucleotide you can see that in this structure this nucleotide, here is one nucleotide, here is another nucleotide, another nucleotide, and thus a DNA molecule is comprises of thousands of nucleotides. So we can say that the structure of DNA, the DNA is the polynucleotide. Now the structure of DNA. DNA is comprises of nucleotides or the polynucleotides. Here, ribose sugar, it is a five carbon sugar, nitrogen base, and inorganic phosphate collectively called the nucleotide. The nitrogen bases are of two types, purine and pyrimidine. A indicates adenine, T indicates thymine, C indicates cytosine, G indicates guanine. So adenine and guanine is known as purine base, cytosine and thymine base is known as pyrimidine base. But the adenine never combine with guanine. It always make bonds with thymine. So, what happens? Here, always purine combines with pyrimidine. Adenine combined with thymine by two hydrogen bonds. Cytosine combined with guanine by three hydrogen bonds. Similarly, when thymine remain in one strand, it combined with the adenine of another strand. And in case of guanine also, when guanine remain in one strand, in the opposite strand there will be cytosine. So these two strands are complementary to each other but not similar. So they are the anti-parallel structure or two strand. Now this is the chemical, actually this is the chemical structure. This is the physical structure. It is a twisted Hel double helical structure that means it forms a twist like this it, it when we unveil this structure it appears like this okay now if you think that uh, means what is indicated by this this diagram this diagram indicates the dna this is the physical structure of dna the two strands remain in this way they are parallelly arranged uh, anti parallelly arranged, but the distance in between or the gap in between these two rings or the diameter in between these two rings is 20 angstrom. So the diameter in between this in, in, in inside this ring is 20 angstrom. Now what is indicated by 34 angstrom? You can see that there is a loop. It is a complete twist. It starts from here and end it, ends up to here. Now the distance or the length in between a complete twist or loop is 34 angstrom and it is found that in the uh, in one twist there are 10 nitrogen bases are present these nitrogen base pairs 10 nitrogen base pairs are present and the length is 34 angstrom so what is the distance in between adjacent two nitrogen bases that is 34 divided by 10 equal to 3.4 and 
system. So, my dear students, this is the structure of DNA, and this structure is described by two scientists. In 1953, American scientists Watson and British scientists Crick described the structure for their contribution. They got the Nobel Prize. So, this is all about the structure of DNA. Now, the differences in between DNA and RNA. Before this, I would like to explain the structure of RNA. RNA, the full form of RNA is ribonucleic acid. That means RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. RNA is a single helical structure. In case of DNA, that was double helical structure, but RNA is a single strand structure. That is also comprised of nucleotides, but if you think this is the structure of RNA, here the adenine, cytosine, guanine, all remain present. That means the nitrogen bases remain present, but here is an exception from the DNA. That is in case of structure in the structure of RNA, instead of thymine, there is uracil. U R A C I L uracil. Okay. So nitrogen bases in case of the structure of RNA. All the structure of nucleotides remain same. That is the ribose sugar that was in case of DNA that was deoxyribose sugar. And in case of RNA, the sugar is known as ribose sugar only. In case of uh, DNA, the nitrogen bases were adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. But in case of RNA, the nitrogen bases are adenine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. Here, adenine and guanine is known as pyrin, and cytosine and uracil are known as pyrimidine. I have told you that RNA is a single stranded structure, but if this structure forms any loop, in that case, adenine always bond with uracil by two hydrogen bond, and cytosine, as usual, makes bond with thymine, uh, guanine by Three hydrogen bond. So adenine always combined with uracil by two hydrogen bond, cytosine or guanine, these two hydrogen bases make bond in between themselves by three hydrogen bonds. Okay? So this is another difference. Generally, RNA helps in the synthesis of protein, but if in case of, especially in case of some virus, if they don't possess any kind of DNA, in that case, RNA acts as heredity material in that case, okay? DNA has no types, but RNA is of different types. That is, tRNA, mRNA, rRNA, okay? They, so you can write that the, there is a type, the RNA is of different types, but DNA has no types. Okay. Now, if I make a comparison between DNA and RNA, what will be the points? First point, you can write if you think that this is the DNA and RNA, you write in this form. First point, that will be the full form. What is the full form of DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid. In case of RNA, that will be only ribonucleic acid. Number two, the nitrogen bases. Nitrogen bases. In case of DNA, you can say that the nitrogen bases of DNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. But in case of RNA, the nitrogen bases will be adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. Then types. DNA has no types, but in case of you think, uh, in case of RNA, uh, RNA is of different types, three types, tRNA, mRNA, and rRNA. Then functions. The strength or the structure of strength. 
Again is a double heli double helical structure, standard structure. In terms of RNA, you can buy that. RNA is of single heli helix or single strand structure. Then the function. Before function, you can write another point that is in case of DNA gene. Gene is present in DNA and gene is absent in RNA. And finally, you can write the function. The main function of DNA it carries the heavy materials, and the main function of RNA it helps in photosynthesis. But as I have told you, if any in any organism or any um, uh, a cellular organism or microorganism is if RNA a DNA remain absent, in that case RNA acts as heavy components. So my dear students. These are the differences in between DNA and RNA. I think if you follow my lecture and you can make the points and write down the points separately, you will get the differences in between DNA and RNA. So in my today's lecture, I have discussed what is DNA, the structure of DNA, and um, what is RNA, the differences in between DNA and RNA. This is all for to my today's class. In my next class, I will be back with a new lesson. Till then, take care.